Hello everyone, welcome back to some of Play Slay the Spire. Yesterday we got very close to front page but didn't quite make it there. Yep, 30th place. Still a good score. Let's see if we maybe can get it. 17-11 for front page? This has to be a ridiculous run. I mean it is harder. And it is deadly events. Deadly events is more elites for us and harder is normally really strong. Maybe, let's see how good heirloom is. That's a good heirloom. Okay. I um, want a lot of question marks and then one elite, two elite, or two elite here. There's two, three question marks this way, three question marks this way. But with the rest in between, that's probably the way you want to go. So two elites and lots of question marks. Maybe get a few more elites. And let's see if we can maybe get something good. I like that they're updating the art for the cards. Okay, 22. So what, what is our plan? Hoarder with some powerful cards and then it hopefully carries us. Three strikes, thank you. Dagger throw, slice, eviscerate. I'm taking dagger throw here. I don't want to eviscerate without any enablers. Bronze scales isn't bad. Yes, give me the curse. That's three curses for us. It's pretty early for three curses, I gotta admit. Is three dramatic entrance good enough? That's three and eight cards in our hand. We will probably not be able to block if I do that. That's a bit of a problem, right? Let's take flying knee. It's also 18 damage up front to all enemies. Oh, I'm not sure. I think I'll just pass. The flying knees will help us with the energized. We'll be able to play all cards in hand now. More dagger throws? Yes. I want the blur as well, to be honest. But dagger throw helps us get rid of the curses. Since we already have three curses in here, can be quite daunting if I don't draw and defend here. Yep, we can't defend this. Right, there's nothing in here that... Oh, there... No, it's only eight block. Even survivor won't help me. So... Double flying knee so I can play all five cards next turn. Yeah. Okay. No, we did perfect this. That's points gone for us. Am I a bit disappointed? We have a lot of discard right now. So I should keep that in mind. Maybe I should get some cards that synergize with this card. Should have kept the strike. I didn't calculate. Could have killed them. I didn't need to take that damage. That was a misplay. Ho! Oh, malaise and piercing whale. Gotta be malaise against this one, right? Malaise is a bit more risky, to be honest. We have flying knees, that's why I like the malaise so much. Like, I can just fly knee this twice. We kind of want to take some damage for the boss fight. And then we have five energy. And we're just killing him with dagger throws. Sucker punch is good, terror is good gonna take Terra and not feel that great about it. The problem is that the Terra is not upgraded and having three of these in my deck isn't immediately amazing. Starting with one is really good though. He's weak for a turn and vulnerable.
12 and 9. Yeah, okay, hit me for 10, sure. Oh, Sneaky Strike is free with all my discards cards, but Die 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 is by far the better card. So far I can't see how we get 1700 points, honestly. This is, maybe I'm picking cards too aggressively since this is a harder daily, I shouldn't pro should probably not take that many cards, but it's just... I don't know, this doesn't, this doesn't seem like a powerful deck. More block for me. Ah, I mean, this is the third elite. I'm going to use the Essence of Steel here. Because that's nine block. If we kill this one, I need a single block every turn to, to not take damage. I would like that. This was also a fine hand. We we blocked everything. And there comes a die die die. We got our single block. Neutralize doesn't quite kill yet. And there's still die die dies left. No block so far. Oh, thank goodness. Should have probably played the other malaise as well. Piercing Well might have been the better pick there. Malaise seems to be a bit too greedy. That's my bad. We have to keep the unique boots in mind. Bottled Lightning. Honestly, that's a skip. Choose a skill, it will start in your hand. Do I want to start with malaise to make this fight easy? Honestly, yeah. Normally I'd probably go for Terror, but I think, all right, it's still that one. Could go for the shop, but no, nah, Lagavulin is really nice. I'm gonna cycle through the malaises, hopefully. Okay, look, look at the debuffs. Last turn, if there's malaise, I'm gonna play it, yeah. Okay, minus six strength and six weakness. It's Gotta be good enough for us, right? Give me survivor? No. Dagger, throw. Can draw me into defend. That's what I need. Thank you very much. Here we have enough block. Free turn. Neutralize isn't bad. And increases the weaken again. These two together are eight now. That's not enough. Okay. I'm actually not gonna make it. No perfect, even though he's debuffed that harshly. That's disappointing. Oh, Tingsha is a good one to get. Do I want all out attack if I got Tingsha? I could see it work and it's also 3 damage to a random enemy and 10 damage to all. Ah. I'm gonna go for a question mark. That's sadly no elite. I would have liked an elite fight here. I'm happy with this damaging me that makes the Hexa Ghost easier. Do I want another turn of damage? Oh no, I can't write. Tingsha gets the kill. This time I'm taking Sneaky Strike. Of course we're not resting, but... Actually, smithing the innate malaise seems like a good start here. Just malaise for a lot. I was thinking about Degas throw Sneaky Strike. He's not attacking, eh? 
Make sure he's never damaging me. Not even with his single attack will he damage me right now. I think I'd rather have the energy than four additional damage. This is actually hilarious. I was, he's, he's literally doing like zero, zero, and then zero damage. I mean, just go into town to a vulnerable enemy. That strength up. Ooh, me oh my. This is getting serious. We got him dead next, next turn. I think I want after images. Pick up five cards. Okay. Endless Agony seems like a good one. Piercing Well. Some free deflects, maybe? Tools of the trade setup. There's there's some bad stuff in here. So honestly I like all three of these. Backflip is good, endless agony is good. Acrobatics might not be too bad. I'm taking a piercing well here. I think I'm taking deflect here, acrobatics here, now backflip or endless agony here and nothing here. Honestly none of these are... I guess a setup could be fine. We don't have great setup cards right now though. Now what do I want here? Another block and backflip? Seems good. Endless agony is 8 damage though. Ah, let's, let's start with this one. Hmm. Honestly, this is still mediocre at best, what, what we're doing right now. Doesn't seem like an also scary start for 1700 points, because 1700 points really is a lot. We actually don't have this card for my sneaky strikes. That's not what's supposed to happen. I should have malaised plus. We have so many cards in hand. Okay, 10 block, that's good enough. Dagger throw. Flying knee, die, die, die. I guess retain 5 block for next turn. Can we do damage? 13 damage, I discard now. And then acrobatics, no we can't do the damage. 8 block. What could acrobatics draw? None of these are free. Gonna take 9 and then kill him. And then kill him! Okay. Another backflip seems nice. I don't think I need the regen potion. I'd rather have fire. Do I want regret as my second curse? Okay, I'm fine with that. We get the curse modifier. Gremlin leader. So... This is a good one. But I don't think we can... Maybe with two energy we can actually get there. Like five, ten, weaken you for two, and yeah, that should be enough. Yeah. Oh, and it is three additional. Okay, three additional of after image. I actually didn't think about those. I like. Die, die, die. And then we take some from regret. Okay. Gotta be careful of this one. 12? Already got a kill.
good start. Not anymore. We gotta weaken you. Get some backflip in here. Deflect is 20. 15 and 8. Can't kill any of these. We can get enough block easily though. Do I want to blur this? Think he's resummoning or attacking? If he's attacking, I want to blur. I'm gonna hope he's not attacking, but resummoning instead. Crap, he's attacking. Oh, we would have needed that blur. Thankfully, Piercing Whale well will carry us home. Yeah, Piercing Whale well helped us a lot. Also, two after images do help us a lot as well. Okay, we can do 16 damage here. Yeah. Right? Yes, we can. Okay. Perfect the delete. That's what I want to see. So if we get these after images in 8, we can do some good stuff. Piercing Whale is strong. Sure. Parasite, I don't really need. Deflect, I'll take. Doppelganger, probably not. Tactician should be great. Actually, I'm taking Dramatic Entrance. Deflect was here. No, Deflect was here. Doppelganger was on the first one. I'm gonna go for the shop. And I will want to... No, I don't think that's right. Backflip is good. I can't remove right. I wanted to remove one of the curses. Good instincts? No. Ghost Ninja, certainly, instead of Smoke Bomb. Doing stuff like Shovel. There is... Two campfires at least. We could shovel it. I'm not gonna shovel, is the thing. Let's get out of war. Orange pellets, sure. None of these are really that great. Let's save the rest. I'm gonna use my second charge from the boots to get elites. We have nine cards in hand, that's why I took the innate ones. I think that's powerful. Having this thing do one times the attacks is beneficial to us. Do I want I want after image? Probably shouldn't have done that. I also want a terror. We should have played terror. That that speeds up our fight considerably. Die 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 is still one damage more than dagger throw. Okay, and that's the power of malaise over the piercing whale. We just don't have to worry about anything. Because enemies like these, we just malaise so they don't deal any damage. Ooh, I like cloak and dagger. Ah, it's upgraded. It's so good with after image. It's three cards for after image, it's two attack, it's a block. Thing is, die, die, die is 25 points. Honestly, I think in this case, Cloak and Dagger would have been the better pick. To be completely open about it. And there's a sneeze coming. This is not great. <coughs> Sorry about that. Ah. And then... Some dramatic stuff. And then play backflip. And then we Malaysia for two. And we block everything. Remove all of your debuffs. Ooh, I can do that again. Ha! 
Hex wore off. We actually got rid of the Hex debuff. It's amazing. Um... Can I get an attack? Gonna take more damage of regret now. Hell no. That's too much damage. That's the regret damage and... He look can start becoming free. I think Dagger Spray is better. Yeah, I like Dagger Spray against these enemies as well. Fourteen block. We can do that. We blocked everything on the first turn. Not bad. Now if I get all AoE attacks, we can actually kill him here. Hmm. I think we just won't make it. Because that kills these two. And then piercing well only puts him down to one and not to zero and we have no source of block. I could have perfected that easily if I drew a bit better. That's unfortunate. Adrenaline. Do I use the last boot to jump here for a guaranteed elite or do I go for the triple question mark route? I think I'm gonna save my stuff. Snacko Skull is really not great at all. That's a lot of dramatic entrance. Two strength, one weakness removal. Honestly, that seems smarter. This way we block in everything. 25 attack. Oof. Hit me for 15, my friend. Damn, beautiful. These adrenalines coming in handy. I think I got two piercing well picks already, right? There's one. There's two, yeah. Sure then, go prepare. That's another, and it's an easy lead. Yeah, honestly. Give me another malaise, please. Ooh. Actually did it, the madman. I only have to remove it by two. Okay. He's doing zero now, and only this is his big attack turn, and we should be enough. With all of our good stuff. Like this, and then adrenaline. And then weaken, and then dagger throw. There's a terror. And then we play one... Two and three. Thirteen block. Even if he does another big attack, we're blocking everything. We're doing some powerful stuff here. And he's dead too. Yeah. So easy to kill. Acrobatics are prepared. Let's take the acrobatics. Shop. Very nice. Kunai for dexterity up seems really powerful. I like Mummified Hand a lot though. And I'm gonna take Caltrops if I take Mummified Hand. And then I will use a. get a power potion as well. And I got four acrobatics, I got the piercing whales. Sure. And then we upgrade one of my. After images. I want all three after images in my starting hand. This way we probably can't lose. I 
That's four strength, that's three times three, plus weakness, that's two times three, that's six. And we have six block. Yeah. Exactly. As predicted. Now Kaltros makes something free. Take that backflip. After image makes something free. Kaltros makes something free. Playing all of that. Not doing any damage. Except to himself. Massively. Thank you Kaltrops. Honestly? There you go. The discard gets the kill. Get some max HP going for us. Another after image please. We should be fine here. Having all of these AoE attacks. Before he spawns is a bit sad. Would have liked the die 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 right now. Acrobatics, get rid of this. I like deflect. Adrenaline. Sneaky strike, both are free. Actually, piercing whale might be the best one we got here. Piercing whale into blur will retain all the block. All the 20 block for this turn. And there is Caltrops. Perfect. Into a power? Into flying knee? Ah. Okay, bit unfortunate. We still retain a lot of block thanks to Calipus. Honestly, we'll save the die die dies for when we need him, maybe we'll come around. Actually, probably not. Let's not kid ourselves. Hmm. So that blur helps us with the attack next turn as well. Oh, he's summoning. My friend. No more blur, but Calipus is coming in. Three energy. I could terror both dagger spray. No, I'm tearing one plain dagger spray and blur. I think the blur is better there. That's basically 20 dem 20 block because this would remove 15 block that we don't lose now. Let's see prepared. Die 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 kills both of these. Defend a malaise. Okay. 26. Here comes the damage. Down to 4. 15 block, that's cute. Oh, maybe not. And then we kill you with the attack. Yeah. I think we, we had this in the bag most of the times. I like Alchemist probably. So plus two max HP is not bad. Burst. We don't have the... I mean, burst malaise, of course. Burst piercing whale. When did I take three backflips? I didn't even see. That's why we have so many backflips. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe burst isn't bad. Now let's take corpse explosion. No longer Smith, I don't want that. Let's take the Black Star. Maybe we can get to the shiny Relic Collection if we fight a few elites here. And I would like that. So, one, two, three question marks, two elites, and then one, two, three, four question marks at the start because I still have one wing boots. I'm gonna go for all the question marks. Hope to get as many elites as possible. 
Yeah, we can tear on one of these. Play this. Acrobatics. Sneaky strike can't be played, sadly. 17. We got enough block. Good start. We have a lot of AoE in this deck, at least. Yeah, I don't have to play Blur. This we, we need 12? No, we need 9 damage. 3 damage from here. There you go. There's 9 damage. Don't need the weak potion. What can we get? 3 innate infinite blades. That's many innate cards, not many blocks. We have after image though. This could be hilarious to be honest. That's why I'm taking it. Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. That's 90 cards upgraded. And it has to be powerful. Also we have 10 cards innate now. Ho ho ho. That's 10 damage. If I play one of these, I'm not gonna take any damage. 12. 3 block, we'll take 6. I'm going to take one damage if I play another one, so I'd rather not. Now we get three shifts, and these three shifts together will be nine block for everyone. The regret is a bit unfortunate. You could say, I'm regretting it. <laughs> Uh, because it will still deal damage to us even if we block. I got to pick Tactician. Tactician is what keeps this deck afloat. Now here. Two Madness. That's 25 points for us. Because that's six Madness. Another question mark. I don't like this. We will get enough block. I'll follow the zero cost cards. That's a curse. I kind of don't want that. That's 15 damage. Whew. Thankfully, Malaise was here. Now the triple after image, triple infinite blade start is kind of great. This might still take a while though. Acrobatics. Goodbye injury. Deflect, deflect. Oh, sneaky strike is free. Is it taken for nine? I guess we do this and then malaise. Uh, shiv, 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 okay. Okay. Very defensive what we're doing here. Honestly, that's probably... oh. And two adrenalines, damn! The upgrade all was so amazingly powerful for us. None here are that great. I can't heal about the max HP. No, we use our last jumping boots. And let's see, we start an after image. You don't take any damage, so I'm just following the zero cost powers to give them maximum malaise because these will kill the attackers and then we malaise there. A 
no discard. I like Caltrops. Madness on the blur. And then exactly 29 block. Not bad at all. So far we're still on the perfect way. Okay, I want to deflect. Play this. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Dagger throw. I guess backflip. Fine. I don't want to see those two cards any anyways. So, nine block for us. That's six additional damage. Should have played Adrenaline first. Could have discarded that one. Instead of one of the good cards. Yeah, it's still fine. Even with the weakness. Oh, I want Ghost Ninja instead of the Ancient Potion, I guess. I think we only have one prepared, then the other prepared would give us points. There's one prepared, yeah, only one prepared. Let's do this. Go on here. Again, I'm gonna follow the zero cost. <laughs> Having the same 10 in 8 cards at the start of every turn is kind of fun. I don't need the second Terra. These prepareds are always damaged. There we go. That's more like it. I think I want Flying Knee to be free here. And then prepare to steal some additional damage and... There we go, fun turn. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Acrobatics into Tactician. Now that's some great stuff. And then we play our whole hand. And get 60 block while doing that. Oh god. Oh god, the deck is powerful. Look at that! That's a lot of block. And then we just kill you with shivs. Great. I think we only have one dagger spray. There's, we have all the dagger throws. There's one dagger spray. Yeah, that's points for us. Another elite. Ooh, you will get it for a lot of damage. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen on those eight damage attacks is kind of nice. I think we're overdrawing by one. Whew. Okay. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Chunked him good. Okay. I want a madness, only the good stuff. Now we have to play Sneaky Strike first to get the energy back. And then. I should have shift first. I didn't want to do it in case we draw something good, and then I can discard a shift instead, and then. Everything went wrong. Acrobatics. We don't need the regret. Prepared. We don't need the piercing well and a survivor. Two energy. That puts us at shiv, shiv, shiv. Uh, 
neutralize sneaky strike die 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 acrobatics discard something do three and that's enough and we ended 96 go uh, armor again blur I think I only have three blurs so I'm gonna take these as well at some point we will be able to get the two max HP with the urn for bonus points and now we'll stay out there three question marks one of these has got to be an elite right there we go ah easy riding the zero cost again oh three after images first now oh, that's a good zero cost train and then we play in all those dramatic entrances no discard is very very sad I should have played that that's three additional block and I gain nothing by not playing it Ho! Oh, can I kill here? This is 28. This is 12. That's some damage. I think I... Should be able to. There you go. And I do sneaky strike here, sneaky strike, dagger spray, explodey stuff. Exactly. Thread and needle and stone calendar are great. Now, I have three of, like, four of all of these. I took them twice. Glass knife I did not. That's a very good card, but I'm gonna go for the max HP now to be safe in case we get better cards later on. Again, the three after images first. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna do this because these two will kill themselves on the thorns. And that got two artifacts off the Spheric Guardian. How very convenient. Okay, shiv, shiv, shiv. Oh god. Yeah, we got him. Don't have to worry about the regret damage going through. Turns out, I guess terror is points, right? We only got one terror as well. Yeah, only one terror. That's 25 points. Come on, elite. Choose an attack. Now we have 11 cards now starting hand. How do I do this? Oh, I just take the dramatic entrance as one of mine. Time Lord. We're playing 10 cards on the first turn right there. 11 with the power. Might be a bit sketchy. Yeah, honestly, just, just put it on the dramatic entrance. Okay, this is points. The rest is not. Oricalcum will never trigger. Strange Spoon is really no. Like, Paper Crane is great. That's points for us. And the rest is kinda... there. We have enough relics already. Far more than we need. My potions seem to be better than the rest. And I have none of these. We're fighting one elite and a campfire. There's a chance we'll get one of these. Kind of don't want to. It's not an elite. That's colorless cards. That could be good. That's secret techniques, I think. Honestly, the apotheosis we don't need. That's a secret technique, a secret weapon, and a secret technique. So we take the technique. And the technique, that's 25 points. And then we take something here. Uh, uh, I don't, again, I don't need the apotheosis. Max HP is... 
not helping. We got 10 here and we got 6 of 3 times singing ball. That's how we got 86 from 70. We don't need another 2. So I guess deep breath. Or a secret weapon. We kind of don't want, don't want any of these. Yeah, honestly. The yeah, max HP didn't matter, but we don't want them. The other cards. Uh, another innate card with the infinite blades. Infinite blades are not great against that boss. Let's just upgrade something else, since resting is useless. Okay. Not the easiest fight, I'd say. After image. Power potion. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Start with four after images. Now I can play all four of these infinite blades. Like five. And then six, seven, eight. Puts a lot of shivs in my hand. Honestly, maybe we just stop here. Don't want to play too many cards. We have five spells left this turn. Prepared is a good spell. One. That's four spells left. Three. Two. One spell left. And then we malaise him for a lot. Four after images will do so much good for us. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that's pretty bad. Keep it at that. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's four additional spells left. Okay. Hit me with the full regret. Get that regret out of here. I don't regret a thing. It landed at exactly 100 block. Ugh. The powerful stuff is happening again. Don't need this. Put a skill. Like what skill do I want here right here? Maybe a blur? That's just a lot of block. Three. Four, five, sure, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, let's do a rollover. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, big malaise. is never ever doing damage. Now we can start doing damage ourselves. That's a bit unfortunate because oh I think he will yeah he's half life. He's healing up. No debuffs and damage is not really worth it. What I'm gonna do is roll him over. 10 11 12. So he's at minus 4 strength. He will purge that to 0 strength, I think. Yeah. That's a okay, though. Do we have a terror still? Thank you. So that will speed up our damage dealing capabilities. We only have two cards next turn, but we got 195 block, so that hopefully shouldn't matter too much. I'm even gonna spend one of my precious cards as freaking Shiv. I guess everybody gotta do damage at some point, and we'll just have to poke him with Shivs. Very, very slowly. I still have two Ghost Ninjas, by the way. That's two turns where we don't take damage guaranteed. 
six, seven, eight. Oh, that secret technique. Why? 10, 11, 12. Killed himself on the thorns. Wow! Looks like we managed to get this in the end. So, at the beginning I was like, this deck doesn't seem very strong. It got pretty strong, I gotta admit. We had the Beyond Perfect. 7 champions out of 10 elites fought. 10 elites isn't bad. No wait, this is 11 elites. It's 4-4-3. Four, four, Boss of Slender 3. Um, 7 out of 10. No, 7 out of 11. It's still fine. We got the curses very early on. I, I'm, I was happy about that. Well fed. Good decisions with the urn. Encyclopedia is very easy. 12 collectors. That's a huge amount of points. 20 mystery machine. Some money. I like shiny speedster. We got we got all the, the sources of points, and thankfully with the twelve collectors, which is pretty easy on harder, we got there. Us back where we belong in the front page. Okay. Yeah, I mean, good daily started a bit wonky, like nothing special at all, but then with the innate powers, after I got the after image, just made all of them innate, bought the. Mummified hand and then got the upgrade on everybody to make make us the innate hand. We didn't take I don't think we took any damage after that After that upgrade all the cards. So we started with the ten special cards in hand the malaise is a sink six powers Three of which is after image and then three zero cost attacks to get the armor for the first turn it, it was over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode